Hey everybody, it is Cheryl Harris with Cheryl Harris Enterprises and uh, welcome to my channel again. And um, today I'm gonna make you some healthy strawberry banana ice cream, non-dairy, only with three ingredients. And uh, let's get started. Now before we do that, what I really need you all to do is to make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, and share the video so that we can build a community. Y'all know how the algorithms work. Go ahead and do that for me, and then we can go ahead and get started, all right? All right, here we go, guys. This is a frozen banana. You know, you can freeze your bananas. Um, I had a few of them there, and you want to make sure when the fruits that you're using are frozen. So, um, I don't eat my bananas as fast as I need to, so I'll store them. Now, the original recipe called for four bananas and four cups of strawberries. Well, I only used actually two. You'll see me put in another half here. I actually put in two, and I'll show you why later. So here I used a cup of, these are frozen strawberries. What I did was I um, had a big container of strawberries from uh, Sam's Club and I didn't want them to go to waste so I cut them up, washed them, cut them up and froze them. And here I want the third ingredient. Actually, it's um, the bananas, strawberries and stevia which is sugar in the raw. Now you can either use regular sugar, um, this sugar substitute here, or you'll hear me later on in the video talk about, I uh, wish I had used agave. Agave is a much better sweetener. Now it depends on where you're getting your fruits from. It'll determine how sweet the fruits already are. You can use whatever frozen foods, fruits that you like. Um, I buy my food foods uh, or my um, fruits fresh and I don't want to waste them because it's just me and then I'll freeze them and here's a food processor and you're supposed to pulse it and you'll see and the reason why I called for four bananas and four cups of strawberries so you can have something to pulse well I didn't have enough in there so I just want to make a small batch for me to see if I could even do it <laughs> Again, this is a food processor. And pulse it. Don't spin it like this, but pulse it. I guess I was trying to get it to move a little faster because I didn't have a, you know, enough product. So I transferred it to my blender. And pulsed it there a little. And because it wasn't moving again, I didn't have enough product. I added some non-dairy organic coconut milk unsweetened just to kind of get it moving around a little bit you can see it's pulsing there a little bit of course I had to play with it a little bit move it around again not enough product but then also again I was just trying it for me and it just a snippet more of organic coconut milk non-dairy unsweetened pulsing again it started getting a little creamy there it's similar to my smoothie that I make I just didn't put all the other ingredients and it turned out pretty good. Turned out pretty good. I didn't intend to use the organic coconut milk, but had I used the original four bananas, four cups of strawberries, I would not have needed to use that. But that's your choice. So I made a small batch, as you can see. It looked delish. I could eat that just like it is. <laughs> so then I froze it for, put it in the freezer for um, about an hour. I put it in the freezer for about an hour and it turned out well. All 
All right, guys, here it is. This is the finished product. So, here it is. It's melting already a little bit because it's hot. Let's see. I haven't tasted it yet, so let's see. This is good. It's not a bunch of fillers or anything in here. I know what I would do because this reminds me of my smoothie. Instead of the sugar in the raw, I would add agave or honey. Mm. This is good. Hope y'all enjoy it. When you make it, post your comments below. Let me know how you did.